Good afternoon and morning, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast here by Age of the Forecast. And we're going to be looking at a huge upcoming major warm front here throughout much of the West United, the West United States here for next week. And we're still seeing this extremely warm air as of right now, but we're missing even a bigger warm front throughout next week and all the way up to May 10th. So this is going to bring extremely warm temperatures, possibly 110 plus degrees in some areas in the Southwest. We're going to be seeing very good chances for possibly 20 to around 30, uh, 30 degrees above average for millions out here across the West United States. Definitely be uh, possibly seeing deadly heat in very, very crucial conditions, especially with the dry air here. We can possibly see a lot of issues throughout the West United States throughout much of this uh, first half of May. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that big subscribe button. We are trying to get to 2,230 subscribers by the end of today, if not end of tomorrow. So please hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to share the channel to any friends or family so you can help uh, keep a lot more people weather aware and also so we can grow the channel. But without further ado, let's get in this video. So we're going to be starting off with a 6 to 10 day outlook here so you guys can exactly see the, how warm and what are the chances of seeing these very warm temperatures throughout May 6th to May 10th. By May 4th, we start to see this warm air this, that we're seeing right now end, and then within 24 to 48 hours, we have another one. So here we're going to be seeing this ridge right here developing here that's going to keep in these warmer temperatures across for southern Florida and much of the western United States. So that's where you're going to be seeing that ridge developing there, so you're going to be seeing this cold air maintaining the eastern United States here. So this is going to be our area of focus right here. This is going to be seeing this very dangerous heat. It's going to be more of the southwestern part where we'll be seeing these triple digits, and we're going to be seeing this widespread heat across the whole western United States. But our main area of focus is going to be the southwest. We're going to be seeing this very widespread, dangerous, and excessive heat. So we already have an 80 to a 90% chance for above average temperatures in these areas for the southwest, including Nevada, Arizona, parts of Utah, and California. So Definitely a very big chance and a huge probability for seeing these above average temperatures. And it's going to be really, really crazy out here. Possibly seeing 110 plus degrees in early May, which is absolutely crazy. And then we have a widespread area of focus as well for 70 to 80% chance. It's including New Mexico, uh, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, and uh, also California. And we have this whole area of focus though. This whole this whole area where we're seeing above average temperatures in general west of the United States. But... As you can tell, definitely seeing that main area of concern is going to be including Nevada, parts of Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and California with that extreme heat. We're definitely going to be seeing a lot more red flag warnings, excessive heat warnings, excessive heat watches, and heat advisories. And this heat's going to be now spreading a bit more now to the Texas area and into the plains later on. Now that we checked that out, let's go ahead and check out the temperature anomaly here. So here we see May 5th, we see the, a bit of a, a this, that warm air is going to be maintaining the south central. So we bit of a, see a little bit of a cool down throughout the west United States and uh, southwest. We're going to be seeing some areas that can be seen below average temperature, scattered areas around maybe 3 to 5 degrees below average. And then we have other areas such as the southwest still seeing above average temperatures, but not as bad. So the worst of it will be for Texas and parts of the south central seeing around 12 to around 16 degrees uh, above average. But as we now get into May 6th, this, uh, this warm air starts to now arrive once again. Going to be seeing uh, some warmer temperatures out here into Southern California, parts of Arizona. We're going to be seeing scattered 8 to 12 degrees above average. And it's not going to be necessarily as bad because many people are really used to these very warm temperatures. But as we now get into May 7th with this incoming cold front here, that's going to strengthen the uh, that's going to strengthen actually this warm front here a lot more. Now we're going to be climbing up to 20 degrees above average for parts of Southern California, and also going to be seeing this uh, warmer air becoming a bit more widespread now throughout the West United States. And by May 8th, when we see this extremely cold air and large Arctic blasts and cold front. This is definitely going to get this, uh, make this warm front a lot worse. And it's actually going to be now for much of Oregon, Washington, and even Northern California now. So it looks like the worst of it will be for these areas in the Pacific Northwest instead of the Southwest. But again, these averages in the areas in Southern California, Arizona, Southern Nevada are a lot warmer than in the Oregon and Pacific Northwest areas. So even right here, we're still seeing possibly 6 to 10 degrees above average, which is still going to uh, really pass uh, these triple digits. Um, but still seeing by around May 10th, we're seeing this extreme heat throughout the Pacific Northwest, seeing around 20 to around maybe 24 degrees above average. And this widespread area throughout the general West United States can you see scattered areas of 
12 to 15 degrees above average. And it gets a lot worse now for our Oregon, Washington, and also California. It's going to be like the, the biggest warm front so far throughout these areas so far this year, in my opinion. It's going to bring in around 16 to around 25 degrees above average throughout May 10th. And even by May 13th, we're still seeing this very, very warm air. And this cold front's still here. It is going to continue to bring us in winter temperature. This is like not going to move out of the way whatsoever. And even by May 17th, we are still seeing above average temperatures in these exact same areas. Like, look, you're seeing warm air throughout this area all the way up to May 17th. That's going to be absolutely brutal if it's like this the whole month. We're going to be seeing possibly uh 10 degrees above average for some areas for the next 17 days that is absolutely crazy now time to look at the european model here this is actually to show you exactly how um how uh below average or how uh above, much above average it is so here we have a warm front right now we're gonna be seeing around 20 degrees above average throughout areas into montana Dakota. So this is a major warm front we're seeing right now. So we don't have any, uh, they took away these excessive heat warnings because that cold air will start to die down or this warm air will start to, will start to die down just a tad. But we're going to be seeing the warmest around 25 degrees above average throughout these central plains. As we're now going to next 48 hours, this warm front will become a bit more widespread. So it's not just the southwest. We're actually seeing again that incoming cold from throughout the Pacific Northwest. You're going to want to enjoy that right now. It's going to be around 15 degrees below average and seeing that widespread around 20 degrees above average for the South Central. So the worst of it that comes now going to be for the South Central. And as we're now getting to May 5th, you kind of see a bit of a cool down now. It's only seen maybe uh, maybe 8 to 7 degrees above average. That's not too bad. I've seen the worst of it for Texas with uh, around 17 to 26 degrees above average for these areas, as you see. And it's going to be brutal, uh, brutal warmth. But as we now get into May 6th, that's when we start to see that warm air arriving. And it's going to get coming real fast. It's going to be seeing already possibly 27 degrees above average throughout some of these areas into parts of Mexico, parts of Southern California. And going to be seeing this widespread now possibly 15 to 25 degrees above average throughout the, uh, much of the general western United States. As we now get later into May 8th, around 29 degrees above average. That's like saying your average high for San Francisco this year is maybe 80 or maybe even 75. Now at, at 30, it's saying 105 degrees. That is brutally warm. Gonna be seeing that for Northern California, parts of New Mexico, or parts of uh, Oregon, and then for our areas into New Mexico and Arizona, still seeing a range from 15 to 23 degrees above average. And this warmth is not gonna get any better. 32 around 33 degrees above average that is absolutely crazy that's going to be throughout these areas into oregon northern california we're going to be seeing that 33 degree mark into the border that is absolutely crazy this warmth and we're going to be seeing of course that incoming cold front so we're going to be seeing around 20 degrees below average to 25 degrees below average and then we still start to see a bit of a a little bit of cool down only seeing now 30 degrees above average but still it's going to be not not just a southwestern system it's actually going to be in that kind of a pacific northwestern warm front so it is good that we aren't going to be seeing this extreme warmth now for southern california and parts of the four corner states but brutal warmth throughout these areas into the general western united states here it's just brutal brutal warmth and maybe again a huge cold front around 30 degrees below average throughout these areas now time to look at the real-time temperatures so we're gonna be seeing what that warm front right now is currently bringing so around 101 degrees uh, out here into parts of texas and also new mexico we're seeing this very warm air and also parts of the southwest can be seeing some high 90s so it does cool down just a tad as we're now going to the next 48 hours, it's going to be seeing up to 105 degrees throughout areas into Texas. And also going to be seeing these very high 90s, maybe uh, getting close to 100 degrees for parts of Arizona. And as we now get later into now May 5th, we start to see again a little bit of cool down, only, only seeing some 80s. And now we're seeing some 50s and even 30s back in Washington. But here come these triple digits once again. So we're going to be seeing that up to 106 degrees throughout these areas. And mostly in Texas, we're going to be seeing 106 degrees out here on to Tuesday. As we now continue on later on into the day, into Wednesday, we're going to be seeing 106, of course, as well. For now, getting into the southwest, for Southern California, seeing 106 degrees. And now as we get now into Thursday, 
we reached 111 degrees throughout areas into the southwest and parts of Arizona and California. Look at these two. Now it's only reach, almost reaching 100 degrees throughout areas in, in the Bay Area. Absolutely crazy. And now going to be reaching 112 degrees on Friday. This is definitely going to be dangerous heat for the southwest. This is why we're focusing on the southwest. They might, they may not get hit the hardest with this um warm front they may not see that 33 degrees above average but they're going to be seeing extremely dangerous temperatures uh we're going to be reaching almost 100 degrees just outside the san francisco area look at this 112 degrees throughout southern california parts of arizona you're going to be seeing 100 uh triple digits in arizona and a part of uh, phoenix getting them almost 100 degrees where david slaughter is going to get absolutely crazy Throughout those areas near San Francisco, they're going to be seeing now Death Valley. It looks like we might actually hit triple digits uh, for the Las Vegas area. going to get very, very close to those areas. But now let's actually see exactly how much warmer it will get here by Saturday. We're going to be reaching now almost 103 degrees for the Bay Area and for the Central uh, Plains. Now going to be seeing a bit of a cool down, only seeing 110 degrees. But that is absolutely crazy. So this is going to be very 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 dangerous heat and it's not going to be something you want to play with and you don't uh, want to be outside too long whatsoever and we see uh, so seeing these uh, triple digits throughout areas and now into now uh, san francisco can be seeing those are kind of mid 60s high 70s but just away just maybe an hour away into central california you're seeing possibly 30 degree difference so absolutely crazy here in the western uh, united states and mainly the southwest where we've seen the deadly temperatures Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And bye, guys.